Welcome back. So, in the previous video, the wall that was here, uh, was here basically. Uh, the pocket door was in place. Um, I uh, hoped, and I'll show you uh, a, a footage of it, but uh, the inner panel that had the door on and the tile on it uh, has uh, some uh, chicken wire. It's stucco, basically, is what it is on the inside. Um, that must be some really old uh, strips of um, drywall when they built the bathroom because it, it, I kid you not, the strips of drywall were about two feet wide going across. Um, not sure if that was cheaper or not, but uh, the frame for the um, pocket door came out. Uh, I removed the pocket door and then the opposite side, the inside portion of the frame had all this extra stuff. And I, I'm, I'm okay with picking up little pieces of uh, porcelain and tile as, I, as I'm breaking apart the stuff, but if I can haul it in a large chunk, which I did, it's a lot easier on me because for right now, it's just me doing all the, all the heavy lifting, if you will. So. The next step will be to remove the uh, inner frame of the pocket door which slides into and it latches. So this one by six has to come out. Then the one by six on this side has to come out. And then I can start working on the shower area. Um, I'm a big guy and I kind of screwed up as I was using my 28 ounce ball pin hammer, which is not a construction sledge, but it does it does pretty well in a pinch. Um, I was swinging away and I made a, the, a new mistake. I had sliding glass doors open, and instead of having the, sh the shades drawn across the sliding glass door, I screwed up and uh, a piece of porcelain struck and shatter the sliding glass door. My fiance is not happy with me. So we're gonna go to Lowe's and buy some uh, two by four so I can build a frame uh, that'll go in this cavity. And uh, we're going to use the existing half inch ply that they have here. And we're going to basically uh, laminate both sides of the opening so that people don't come in here and try to steal stuff, especially my tools. So, as you can see, the trail of majesty as we come out here. Excuse the uh, overhead noise for the, from the airplanes. But uh, on this one right here, as you can see, they put me uh, plus a tripod so I don't trip over it. But um, everything. Drywall, tile, toilet paper holder, towel rack, all of it out. Uh, I have a wheelbarrow and I'm going to go ahead and take a sledge to this here outside and break it apart probably tomorrow so I can tuck it into the, the Baxter bag and I'm use some rope to tie the strap somewhat upright so I can start tucking things in. And this bag's almost full. So I think I call it waste management to figure out how much I'm going to charge to haul that off. But going back to inside the house. So for right now, as you can see the uh, polyethylene piping, I've been very careful, knock on wood, literally and figuratively, not to ding it or cut it or scrape it or do anything that might piss off any of these seams because if water were to come out of this I think my woman will grow a second head 
and shoot me, and this will be the last video. No one will ever see this but the police. So the next thing I'm going to do, while I'm waiting for her to arrive, I'm going to tear out this last segment of tile here, and then cut across um, the top with my uh, jigsaw, and go across here, all the line I have drawn on the inside of the, the drywall, all the way around, and then take out all the nails. I Yes, I did say nails, because back in the 60s, then they used screws for a drywall, they used nails. So, I can't imagine being in Florida, eat, putting up drywall, and using nails instead of a screw gun or a nail gun. So, I'm gonna go ahead and knock this out here. Uh, the inside of the window, there's a good chance the window's going away. Um, and I say that because we'll eventually enclose the garage. And since I'm tearing out all this drywall and plaster out already, it's only going to be a couple extra dollars to just in, maybe another 50 bucks or so to enclose this window. Um, a cinder box is pretty cheap, it's about a dollar 15 each. And then we're looking at a bag of, uh, of Portland cement or concrete. And uh, what I'll do is I'll, I'll rough up the opening uh, and then I'll put in some rebar across and uh, um, I'll, I have my hammer draw just four, a couple of holes in, stacking some rebar to reinforce the, the, uh, the brick that's going to go in here. Um, just for, the, for peace of mind, not for anything else, but just peace of mind. You never know who's going to be looking at what you're doing to a house, let's say, after you move in. So, uh, to keep the loopy loops out, this will be enclosed, so that way when, when we put up the new wall, the new opening for the door, and it goes to this wall here, uh, this one will be out, um, because eventually, like I said, the garage will be, the carpet will be enclosed into a garage, and then eventually that window here will also be removed. Um, I might put in a a larger window here in the front of the house, uh, depending on whether or not I can do it if it's available to do so. It was not overly expensive. But um, the, the house is dusty. Uh, for lack of better word, I've been working here for the last oh, six or so days. Uh, I've had four hours of sleep. I'm still going strong. Uh, tonight I'm going to sleep like, like a baby, the proverbial baby. I'm going to drink a beer pass out something that wrong line. So, um, for now, I'm going to go ahead and just knock this out, and then start working on knocking out that partition. Um, these joints up here are sister, so this is load bearing, um, but everything in between probably isn't sister, so I'm just going to start knocking out this partition here. And knocking it into the shower so uh, hopefully it'll all just go in and crumble but if, if everything goes through in this house so far it's something but sheetrock duroc and uh, plaster chicken wire it's, just, it's been a nightmare with this uh, bathroom remodel really uh, most bathrooms in the house you just have the sheetrock or the duroc and you just pull that off and you're good to go uh, but this you knock you knock on the, the tile and you're there knocking with this with this ledge and then a ball pin hammer and then a dead below and nothing happens and then you start picking it like I did with the, the section of the wall that was here. I got mad. Well, thanks for watching. I'll be uh, recording another segment later on today. Uh, hopefully um, recap what's been done and our journey with this. Uh, thank you.